An electromagnetic freight packet will be jettisoned out to the center of the colony. We will be ejected with containers around us. Because so be you careful. are garbage. Do you hear that? <laughs> you are garbage. I cannot believe Leo is following my plan to eject him into space like the dumb idiot he is. Wow, this is some high intensity garbage. Mm hmm. Transportation so we're finally confirmed. leaving we the uh, the station. In approximately Almost. Uh, there there, there no are bombs being planted. We have to obstacles. get rid of first. Well, I'm not <laughs> expecting it to, to go off without a hitch, but we yeah. are leaving. Oh now. yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. Are you concerned about her? Well, yes, of course I am. Can we talk? If you do not mind. <laughs> Leo, no, let's I don't rap. Mind. I am turning I a digital chair around and spreading my computer legs around it. Mission. In a best case scenario, there is an 8.7% rate of survival. I see. You have asked for numerous transfers from your duties aboard Jehuti. Is Leo wearing Velcro shoes? <laughs> Leo doesn't know. He doesn't know how to tie. Oh. Are you preaching to me again? No. I am simply asking out of curiosity. Well, Leo, I, really I want to know, know your Based deal. Based on past experience, I can offer several plausible reasons. One, an overestimation of your fighting abilities based on an <laughs> underestimation of the enemy's war potential. Two, desire for a reward in proportion to the danger of exposure to self-destruction. Three, emotional revenge for placing your crew's life in danger. Maybe you're right. Maybe but I do I really just want big myself. fat stacks. Maybe it's all Whatever three. Whatever reason, it is not logical. It is still possible for you to go back now. I would rather you do. Like, I do not seriously. Want you to die. Ada. Mostly, I do not want you to die inside me. I would have to be hosed oh. and like Can I ew. tell you a story from when I was growing up? Please. I've been alone since I was a boy. What? Sense? I'm My a grown-up man now. We hardly went out anywhere together. This is the only picture of me on record. When I was ten years old, my father was posted to Jupiter, so we went out for a rare family dinner together. This is what it looked like. I was so happy, but that restaurant did not last meal. long. Nah, the whole vibe was nice, but they couldn't fill enough table. people in their one-seat dining rooms to really turn <laughs> a profit. They were arguing to get me. They both wanted to get rid of me. That only reinforced my belief that I was an unwanted child. My friends and my teachers, too. <laughs> it's always been like that. I was the child no one wanted. Nobody Were they really your friends, Leo? Even if I died. Like those people in the opening cutscene no that looked like they wanted to shank boss. you. Was that like a play date the in your head? The reason I stay here is because I need it. Selvis and you are by my side, and... <laughs> there are even people to give me orders when I don't understand what's going on. I love to blindly file orders. And for that, I'll devote my life to them. Are you saying that you would sacrifice your life, your only life, for someone else? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel that together we can do it. We are almost at the central hub. There are sure to be many enemy orbital frames. It is expected that the battle will begin as soon as we arrive at the central hub. Please be very careful. Yes, sure. I am. What? I am one of those who need you. I am incapable of feeling sorrow. <laughs> but do not throw your life away so easily. I understand. Thank you. We will be arriving at the central hub in a matter of moments. Oh, Friends. So here you are. <laughs> Viola, this is an order. Get out immediately. I refuse your order. If you try to interfere, I'll kill you. That's how a military Why do you operates, want him so right? Badly. Mm -hmm. He's only a kid. Only a kid, is he? <laughs> it's not just that frame that makes him so good. I know that. Just get out of there. The mission will be accomplished even without you. Do you think the so special thing about Jeopardy is that you should its know. combat works exactly like in the Neat. game? 
Easy. Like everybody else has a dozen buttons uh, and switches yeah. to flip. Yeah, maybe that's why it's so good, because it's it's just video game controls. Everything will be over. I've always wanted to play this game, but in first person cockpit mode the whole time. I just want to see what that would look like. Yeah, let's let's put this on Oculus. Yeah. Detonating bombs correctly. How do I do that? It is the same as grab and throw. Keep holding the bomb until it explodes. Bombs in the future are really fucking weird. I got it. Be sure you have to slam dunk the bombs into that hole over there. Uh, so for disarming the bombs, enemies just basically spawn in waves forever until you get rid of all the bombs. Once that timer's out or finished, a bomb just kind of spawns somewhere. Ah, oh, okay. It's not too difficult. There, It is good to clear out as many enemies as you can before you go grab the bomb, though, because uh, if they shoot the bomb, it blows up. Oh, well, that's no good. It's... Disarming! Disarming the bomb! My glowy flying bits! If you kind of face a weight with your back towards them, it's harder for them to hit the bomb, but still. Mm -hmm. I should also mention, uh, during that last cutscene, and like two other times, basically anytime Vi Viola's been on screen, uh, and she's talking to that, that military commander, his name's been mentioned once, but he's kind of important. <laughs> his, na he, he, his name is Colonel Noman. Okay. Uh, you don't really get to see him quite yet. He should yet, probably but... get a cooler name if we're supposed to remember him. Yeah. He has like three different names depending on what media you're. you're ah, yes. Shawashaska. <laughs> he, uh, he has two different names in the games, and then he has another name in the anime. Not because he has multiple different names, but because uh, the localization for Zone of the Enders is not great. Oh god, five seconds left. I did it. Yeah. Oh, so it stops the clock immediately. Oh yeah. Okay. The bomb was detonated correctly. This is... it's a little apparent in this game, but it's going to be way more apparent when we get to Zone of the Enders 2. Uh, they did not hire great localizers for, for <laughs> translating these games, uh, and 2 especially is very weird. So the level cap in this game is level 8, mm -hmm. but you kind of have to, to ever actually reach level 8. You gotta go back and forth between maps and grind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Although you might... I guess there's a better chance of you reaching 8 if you don't know the exact route you have to go for all the things it makes you do. That makes sense. Yeah. It helps, but it isn't in tight really. Oh man, there's a 7S. Does the S make a difference? Why are some of them S's? Uh, S just means he's part of a, a squad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the ones that have the AI leaders or whatever. But yeah, level 7 guys are pretty... I feel like on top of just moving around a lot, they might get extra invincibility frames or something, because there are times it feels like you might actually hit them, but they just kind of slip through your attacks. Mm -hmm. Well, that would just be rude. Mm -hmm. The bomb was detonated correctly. <laughs> How are you holding up together? Well, I'm gonna end this now. <laughs> The second fight with Viola, or third, I guess. <laughs> Basically fights the same way as before, except some of her attacks are modified now. Like, her burst attack shoots six instead of one. Uh, some of her projectiles home in more. Uh, she's actually easier than the, the previous fight, I think. Uh, well, you're kind of getting wrecked, though, yeah. so... It's the, the burst attacks just on hard mode home in a lot more than uh, on normal mode. Yeah, that's pretty homey, homey. Mm -hmm. So thankfully, at this point, you've got so much mummy, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, she doesn't really know how to block at this point, though. That's the issue. Uh, well, because so of her arm parts. <laughs> yeah, if you just get right up in her face, then she can't do much. She can try and grab, but it's pretty easy to get out of it.
I guess it's okay that only one bomb went off? It was a little bomb. It, it was the one good bomb. It was your yeah. safety bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh no, now she's gonna go to Jupiter and kill your dad. <gasps> Do you want me to shift the monitor to the outer camera? Yes. Oh, it's showing two and a half men. Ada, could we go and save the frame? Jehuti is not designed to resist entry into Jupiter's magnetic storm. The orbital frame is already being pulled ever faster by gravity. While it is not impossible to save the orbital frame, it is very risky. You could have just ideas? said that, and it would be less risky, because th there's sort of a ticking clock here, kid. What? Yeah. Ada, can I save that? Still no. you insult me. Don't even consider it. If you save me, I will fight you again, and I will kill you. I'll kill the people that are precious to you Unless first, the robot you have you works on some Dragon Ball Z thing where you can reconstruct you yourself as long as a singular cell of you lives, I'll continue to kill I don't think that's going to work out. After that. But you'll... You look really <laughs> arrestable right now, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> by such a naive brat. Viola. I have lost everything. I survived many battles. I lost my parents and my lover. I don't have the functions of a woman now. Uh, um, Even then, Ada? I have to you want to clarify? To live. Ada, I'm confused. I'm 12? Right. To survive was the only purpose to life. To survive is my life in battle there's a slight gap between life and death so there is so there are two anime things there, there's the series and then there is like a one-off movie time. thing that's a prequel uh -huh. to I'm everything and this cutscene makes three anime things yep yeah myself. uh Viola is in that Soaking that movie, and uh, in some of the stuff flesh. she's talking about here is actually stuff from from that little movie. Oh, okay. So it it, it makes more sense once luck. you watch that. That sounds uh, like a heartwarming crowd pleaser for the whole family. Oh yeah. Alive. She's not the I focus of that, but she's a character in it. Own strength. You ruined it for me. Who the hell are you? What am I inferior to you in? Have you ever, have you ever experienced any hardship in your life? My friends got crushed by a robot. You, Neither of my parents wanted me. Your existence itself denies mine. My parents got a divorce so they could pass me off on Finally. each other. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I am finished. My ill-fated days. Forever over. Did she write this out in advance? Boy, I think ill-fated days would be a good subtitle for an question. anime. Yeah, yes. totally. What is it? Was I strong? It's hard to believe. The anime is called Zone of the Enders, Dolores, comma, I. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wait, hold up, really? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Dolores? Uh, an orbital frame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the target but is uh, in a better uh, uh, localization, Viola? it would be Mulva. Beautiful. You knew how beautiful the stars really are. Viola! Brought him. At last, I can be with you. Viola! The target has ceased functioning. Confirmed. What is it? What's going on? Ada? I detect an enemy presence behind us. Many strong frames await you. Jehuti is resonant with that frame. 
Ada, where Wait, did it come from? Huh? Did Radar you vibrate together? What do you mean resonant? <laughs> you cannot defeat Anubis. Recommend you fly away. Anubis, you said? You know it? Ada! That frame is another genitive. You two are not destined to meet yet. What do you mean? I knew others could be killed, but I never thought it could happen to Viola. She was incapable <laughs> uh, wait, of huh? You! You huh? ordered all this! She was no, immune to Iocane powder. Me. Well, perhaps. In any case, you will die. A farewell gift to Viola. <laughs> Alright, so fighting Anubis. Uh, this is Colonel Noman. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I thought so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The whole invasion is to is, is for Baram to get both of these frames. They got Anubis at least. Uh, good luck doing any kind of damage to Anubis. He's he's pretty much invincible. Okay. Well, that makes for a fun fight. Yeah. Uh, it actually is possible, but it's not through normal design. It's through tricking his AI. Damage index exceeding 50%. It's impossible for you to kill me. Whoa! Main torque bus in the body is damaged. Superior oh no, the my index bus. Has dropped to minus <laughs> I was so close! Is the superiority complex Leo, Ada's personality Leo, drive? <laughs> I think. I'll blast a hole in the side walls of the central hub in 15 seconds. Follow the beacon signal. I'll give you cover with my cannons. Be careful. If you deviate even slightly from the beacon, you'll get burned. I'll try. See you soon. Good luck. So the actual fight with the Nubis is more it's just don't get killed. It's a survival effect. Yeah, just don't die for a little while here. Thankfully, you can just dodge out of those grabs, so it's not too hard to do that. Now, why couldn't you have accidentally stumbled into the cockpit of the teleporty impossible to kill one? Yeah, seriously. This would have been a very different game. Yeah. Try not to veer away from the crosshairs marking the beacon. Roger! Is that the one? It's a pretty cool ship. Yeah, I, I like the look of it. Is it supposed to be two ships just tethered together? Uh, I, it feels like it. Absolutely. Yeah. It yeah, it kind of feels like it's just carrying a cargo container on it or something. Like one of those planes that carries the space shuttles. Yeah. Good job, boy. It is I, Rock Thunderheart, the protagonist of the next game. Hello. Where's Sylvice? Don't worry. She's just fine. Good. Let me go and pick you up. It will require three minutes to stow away in the hangar and to pressurize. Please wait. So you can leave right now. <laughs> you know, thank you for everything. Because you are with me... I survived. Ada, I thanks for being same. a giant robot. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out. So it seems there were two survivors Is on the, the entire right uh, uh, space station. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yes. Well, what are you going to do now? What? I'm After going to Mars. Disneyland. You have an important mission, don't you? If it's okay with Wanna, you. Want to, like... Get some drinks or After hang out or something? Mission, Jehuti's duty on Mars is to penetrate the military fortress Alman and to destroy the fortress from the inside by self-destructing Jehuti. Jehuti will self-destruct? By deliberately overactivating the generator, Jehuti will generate a maximum of 22.3 gigatons. That is equal to the power of 15 positron bombs. Wait a minute! You mean you'll deliberately explode this frame? What about you? All my functions aboard Jehuti will cease. So it's a suicide mission? Can I, like, back you up on my hard drive? I thought it was you who told me not to waste my life! Pressurization is complete. 
opening the hatch. Thank you. Ada! This is what I live for. <laughs> this is the purpose making of Making children cry? <laughs> for those who have no ah, I love making children suffer. No! Yes! <laughs> Feel bad. I love it. The end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's only end just one. It kind of just ends. Yeah. Remy LeBeouf. Oh, yeah, Gambit. I love that guy. Mm hmm. Uh, so, yeah, Zoni enters, you know, the first one says, like, oh, we're going to leave and then, like, go to Mars and all stuff. And you think, oh, when you're leaving here, you know, okay, cool. We're going to have a big setting change, go to Mars. Well, it ends before you get to do that. Oh. Also, like, your final boss is fighting the same person twice and then surviving a little bit? Yeah, it's a little strange. Like, fighting Viola is totally Kiss fun. Kiss me, sunlight. <laughs> Kiss me. Fighting Viola is totally fun, but it, it, it does feel like a little like, oh, because you don't get, like, it doesn't feel like you get a proper final boss. I like with the name of Hope. Like, if there was a way to overcome Anubis. Yeah. I mean, having Anubis be, like, this big spooky thing who's there and you have to run away from does kind of set him up as, like, a big powerful bad guy that you want to fight later on, I guess, but... Yeah, but that... It would have been better if that was, like, not the final thing you do. Like, that's before Viola or something. Right. But all of that, the length of the game, and only having one setting while talking about the rest of the war, it really yeah. makes it feel more like a prequel than a full game. Yeah, totally. Uh... Thankfully, Zone the Enders 1 sold very well entirely because everybody wanted the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc that came with it. <laughs> uh, so it got a sequel, like, only two years later. And the sequel is uh, extremely good. It is... I would say the improvement from 1 to 2 is similar to the improvement from Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 2. Mm -hmm. It is that kind of thing where it's like, okay, they have the basic idea, but what if they made it really good the next time? <laughs> uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out with us. This is sort yeah. of a, a quick one, but a Zone of the Enders 2 is coming right on its heels. Yep. Look out for that. Yeah, a lot of people, and like, you know, we said even in this, you know, this is a Kojima game. Kojima has his name all over all the Zone of the Enders stuff. Uh, but he's actually not, like, the head dude of these games. He's not really? the director or anything. He was the, the producer, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, so, you know, he had a say in the game, but he was not the creative force behind most of it. Unless it was, like, a trailer for the game. <laughs> because that dude loves his trailers. So, yeah, thank you, uh, Noriaki Okamura and Shiro Mukaide. Yeah. And, and all these other people on screen right now. <gasps> right now. Oh, oh, we're losing them. They're going away. Oh, bye. bye bye. So the, the song playing here uh, changes depending on how well you did during the game. Uh, mainly the SOS missions. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, either you get one song uh, or the other, depending on whether or not you get all A ranks. Uh, but the reason why I played hard in this game is because it's literally impossible to get an overall A rank unless you play in hard or up. Which is a little weird. So even if you play in normal mode and get all A's, your overall rank is a B. Oh, that's how they get you. Yeah, uh, a little <laughs> confusing, but... So what, what happens if you ignore the SOS missions? I mean, I know there are a few that are actual, like, storyline missions, so you can't skip all of them, but... Oh, no, you can actually skip every single SOS. Even uh, the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can ignore it. Um, ignoring them is essentially the same thing, thing as an E-rank, except you can't get the bad ending from it. Because oh, you don't okay. deliberately go out of your way to slaughter people. <laughs> So the, the cosmic forces conspire to keep Rock Thunderheart alive. Oh yeah, totally. I love Rock Thunderheart. Oh, I'm glad somebody was sending checks to all the bugs. Aww. Bug check dreams.
Somebody check the bug's dreams. Uh, it's mostly garbage. Mm. A whole lot of garbage in there. All right. Oh, thanks to the MGS2 staff. Yeah, Kareem is just the producer. He He's got a say in everything, but wasn't really the driving force behind any of the Zone of the Enders. There's also a Game Boy Advance Zone of the Enders, actually. It's like a tactics-based uh, RPG. Is that any good? Uh, I haven't played it, but it sounds like it's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. Da 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 da! Ah! ah! Uh, and at a later point, we'll also be taking a look at the versus mode. Cool, cool, cool. All right. See you then.